My name is Atheon Blightfinder. I come from a place far beyond this land. I was brought here by a cult of evil sorcerers who were looking to summon one who could conquer all. <laughs> Ironic. They took me away to this land to conquer it. And instead, I have brought peace. I started in a small town where I was harassed and attacked, for there were many who believed I was an evil conqueror. I knew I could not speak to their hearts through my words, so I let my actions do the talking. I showed the people that I am no monster by leading an attack on a band of raiders threatening the town. I then went on to prevent an assassination on the town leaders and do many things for the community. Now I am the king of this town, and we have expanded into a great city, full of wonders. Today marks the anniversary of Blightland, and the amazing and wonderful people who believed in me to ah, this day- He's got such a cool backstory! Why does he have to be so boring? Uh, I don't know, boss. He seems pretty charismatic to me. Oh, sure. To your untrained eye, I'm sure he seems like the perfect guy. Friendly, charming, Strong. Very strong, boss. Apparently, he took down a cult of fortune tellers by himself single handedly. Oh, wow. He took down a group of scam artists. Big deal. Anyone can predict the future if they pay attention. Why don't you do it then? I have! And guess what? The future is boring. So many politics and other bad decision making. And there's no true villainy anymore. So, is that what we're doing here then? Yes! Here in the lab of I, Dr. Outrageous, I can create whatever I desire, free from obligations and the watchful eyes of the prying public. I have the means, the means to become the most greatest evil! <laughs> And that should wrap up the East Farmland Dispute. <sighs> well, who'd have thought that peaceful conquest could be so boring? How soon can we get a new department head for the civil disputes? Not for at least five weeks, sir. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have fired that corrupt bastard until I knew we could get one sooner. I really can't take much more of this. What's left? We have some more protests against the banishing punishment. Again? Every day with these people. You can't blame them. Being sent into the realm of insanity is a fate much worse than death. I am aware. That's why I only used it once. What would they prefer, a public execution? Oh, I need a break. Say, uh, you uh, want to hang out? Am I getting paid to do so? Um, well, no. Sorry. I can't. Oh. Well, okay then. Maybe some other time. Perhaps. Right. Well, how about we finish this up tomorrow? It's getting late, I think. Still can't quite figure out time here. If that is what you wish, your highness. I wish it. Very well. Good morning to you then. Morning? I thought it was... Have I been working all night? I think I need some air. Facts about our glorious ruler. Number 341. Despite common belief, Atheon does not actually like food. He prefers a drinkable supplement from his own world that supplies nutrients to his body for 10 days called a load. Connect. Connect for heaven's sake, connect! Facts about our glorious ruler. Number 342. Atheon is something called a human- Will you shut up and help me? Uh, I would, boss, but, uh, I have no idea what you're trying to do, as usual. Isn't it plainly obvious? I'm building a robot! A beast of steel! A machination of mayhem! <coughs> That's a robot. Of course it is, you dunce! Look! Head! Chassis! Internal systems! Power converters! But it's so... Outrageous? Well, yeah. Oh... Exactly! And with this mechanical menace, I will do the most evil thing I can think of. Are you gonna take over the city? No, that's boring. Are you gonna attack the city? Blow up some buildings? What? Are you crazy? People might get hurt! 
Not to mention I'd be destroying people's businesses and places of work. In some cases, I could be worse than killing people. Wait a minute. So, you don't want to attack anyone? Yes. And you don't want to destroy or blow up anything? Yes. Or kill, hurt, or do anything that would upset the status quo? Yes. But you want to be a supervillain? Yes! Uh, I don't get it. Of course you wouldn't. That is why I am the evil genius and you, Polygon, are my henchmen. I prefer assistant. I don't care. I'm evil. I come up with the plans and only I can understand what it is I'm trying to do. Oh, you got me there, boss. So, uh, what do you want me to do? Could you turn the lights down a little? My eyes are getting sore. Sure thing, boss. Oh, and could you turn on the insulated area cooling device? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Do you want some hot tea so that you can evilly oppose the cold air? Yes! I will point and laugh as the insulated area cooling devices foolishly yet desperately attempt to make me cold! <laughs> what do you mean it can't be seen in public? Do you want to be swarmed by people? Well, no, I guess not. Trust me, these people out there, they love you. You are their savior. Everywhere you go, there will be a crowd in your wake. What do you suggest I do, then? Stick to the private garden of the castle. The air is especially fragrant there, and they're designed to let in a comfortable amount of sunlight. Very pleasing to the eyes. I don't want any of that superficial crap. I'm the king for Trigger's sake. I understand I'm respected and looked up to, but I'm just as human as anyone out there. Humans, sir? <sighs> right, sorry. Sir... I know this is upsetting to you, but please, it's for your own good. Fine, fine. I'll just sneak out later anyway. Okay, we're ready. Can I get out from under here? This thing is incredibly heavy. That thing is my genius plan! And no, you need to stay under there or the whole thing will fall apart. This is the last time I offer you anything beyond some tea. And now, my precious creation, prepare to breathe new life! <laughs> Please enter username and password. Oh, right. I forgot to do that. What? I can hear you questioning my genius down there, Polly! Let's see here. O-U-T-R-A... G-E-O-U-S Incorrect username and or password. No, maybe outrageous was the password. Why does it even have that? Genius! Questions! Cease! Incorrect username and or password. Well, it has to be one of them. I know for a fact it's either username or password. Isn't that the same login you use for all your work? <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, that's why I went back and changed all the password. Hold on. Login successful. Welcome, Doctor. What was the login? Polly, I trust you. I love you. You are a good minion. But what do you think the point of a password is? Must be a good password if even you forgot it, boss. Of course. The best passwords are the ones even I cannot comprehend. I always say if you can't remember your password, it's a really good one. That makes no sense. <laughs> no, it just makes a very Skewed kind of sense. As intended! Sure. Ready to receive commands. What is my function, Doctor? At last! Now I can initiate phase one of my ten phase plan! Ten phase plan of villainy! <laughs> Here you are, Doctor. A cough drop. <clears throat> uh, oh, uh, thank you. Anytime, Doctor. Am I here to help you with your medical needs? No! I'm not unwell! And that is not your purpose! I have a much more grander plan for you! More grander? Shh. The plan is... Yes? Is... You will insult people! What? Sometimes the greatest villains need to start small. Well, that doesn't make... Let me finish! Some insults stick with you for the rest of your life. Shaping you, molding you, causing you to make bad decisions in life. Make you unsure of yourself and what you want. 
That is why it is the perfect starting point for my entry into evil. So you want this robot, this giant three meter tall robot, to go into Blightland and insult people? Yes! Understood, Doctor. I shall begin immediately. Yes! Go, my villainous fiend! Go forth and burn them! Objective changed. Acquiring flame With words! With words! Previous objective re-established. Plotting course to... Blightland. ETA. Ten minutes. Excellent. Wait. Ten minutes? Didn't I install that overclocking device? Subscription to Overclockers RS has been terminated. All overclocking components are disabled until your subscription is renewed. What? They can do that? Apparently so, boss. Well, whatever. Just get going. I have not upset you, have I? No, no, of course not. Just get going so we can get things underway. So I have not upset you then? No, I'm just mad at all these subscriptions. I need to make something run effectively. So you're not mad at me? No, I'm not mad. Now go. Okay, you're mad at me. I'm sorry. I'll go. No, I'm not. Ugh. What? Did you? Did I what? Did you give that robot sentience? Of course! But why? It's just a machine. I have my reasons! Uh, let me guess. I wouldn't understand them? Yes, but to avoid being predictable, I'll tell you anyways. Oh, thanks. It's really easy to design a robot so that it's evil. That's not hard to do, but it leaves out the creativity. If a robot is only built to be evil, it'll work in its set path. But with sentience, it can get creative with its villainy. But if it has sentience, doesn't it have to actively choose to be evil? Ah, so you've discovered phase two of my ten phase plan. Oh, for the love of- Soon, the robot will reach the town. It will say upsetting insults that will linger in the backs of the citizens' minds, and it will love it! That sounds... OUTRAGEOUS! You know what? I, I don't even care. Yes, you do! Because if this plan does succeed, you'll be out of a job, and the robot will take over as my sidekick. Then you'll see what that six-year degree in poetry will get you! Okay, now that... that is evil. And a bit uncalled for. Yes! Well, this isn't so bad. It's actually pretty peaceful. Maybe too peaceful. Help! There's a robot attacking the town! Well, it's probably nothing. I have security for a reason. If only the security force wasn't in the middle of a heated competitive round of strip tiddlywinks! How? What? Ugh. I miss my team. Well, someone's got to do something. Okay. Magna Man! Name could still use work, boss. I'll keep trying. Go on and insult the general populace! Make Blightland fear the word outrageous! <laughs> Why am I insulting them? Because! Because? Yes, because! I do not understand. Just... Do it, okay? Look, that one! Initiate the Sick Burn Protocol! Target acquired. Sick Burn Protocol engaged. Warming up Gotham Detectors. Standing by. Dab Yolo Procedure. Prepping Air Horn Sound Effect Number 3. Emergency. It's just a prank, bro. Program is now online. Those programs sound outdated. Eh, they'll do for our purposes. You sure about this? It's about to happen. What? What, what do, you, do you want from me? Stay back. You. Yes. You want me? Your contribution to society could be better. Oh. Well. Okay then. Guess I'll try harder. Th thank you. I think. No, no, no! You just encouraged them! 
Now they'll aim to be a more productive member of society. Literally the opposite of what I'm trying to do. Okay. Uh, let's try something else. There's another guy. Tell him his interests are weird. You. Uh, yes? Your interests are weird. What? It's just bird watching. Understandable. Have a good day. You're just going to walk away? Oh, right. Got him, Dad. This is... Outrageous. Don't you dare. Okay, keep going. Maybe something will stick. I'm going to just take a moment here. You're right, boss. Yeah, no, no, I am not. I, <laughs> I really thought this would be much easier. I thought that by giving it sentience, I could, I could at least get away with making a few people feel really bad. But I failed to remember how newly sentient beings act upon first activation. <sighs> Maybe I should just give up. What, give up on the project, or, uh... No! Give up villainy! Uh, no one will know the name Doctor Outrageous at this rate! Uh, is this really the best I could come up with? I'm terrible! And not in the good way! Now, now, boss. Every supervillain has a few setbacks. That's what makes him a great villain moving forward. You're just saying that so I don't stop paying you. I mean, yeah, that is true. But also, you're my friend. I helped you out in college and saw you for who you really were when you turned to me for help in your languages class. Such a pointless subject. And it's needlessly complicated too. Look, agree to disagree. The point is... I know who you really are, and I don't want you to go back to being someone you're not because of one false move. Yeah, you may be right. Alright, let's go back to Robot. Don't you mean Magnaman? You were right, it's a dumb name. I think when it gets back, I'll think of a better one. Despite being super cool in theory, your leadership skills are anything but extraordinary, and your personality is even less so. Whoa! Is that a roast I just heard? Sounds like it's paying off! Wait, he said leadership skills. Um... Who are you talking to? Oh! Oh. Oh no. Whoa, those are some fighting words. Atheon! King of Blightland. What's he doing here? Robot! Get out of there! I repeat, get the hell out of there! You are not ready to take him on! Where do you come from, stranger? I was designed at address unknown. Oh, thank the angels above I took us off the map. Why were you built? Primary directive. Dr. Outrageous built me to insult the citizens of Blightland. Did he just say my name? Oh, uh, I think so, boss. Oh, that's it. We're screwed! Do you know what he'll do to us if he finds us? Well, according to the book on facts about our glorious leader... We'll be smashed into mincemeat! Those muscles aren't for show, Polygon! We're done for! Oh, so you have read this book. Huh. Well, that does seem a bit mean, don't you think? I... Yes. Yes, I suppose you're right. Oh, great, and now he's agreeing with him! Well, the robot is forfeit. Just when it couldn't get any worse. Well, I have an idea. Oh, here it comes. How about we find you a better job, eh? Something a bit more fulfilling. Give you a proper life. Let us show you what doing good for a community will give you. Wh what? what? I think I would like that. Great. Let's get started. Now. Have you ever considered a job in political disputes? I... I can't believe this! They're literally walking off into the sunset. Why is the sun setting? It was morning like three hours... I will never understand time here. Okay, so before I was scared. I mean, this is 
Tachyon we're talking about. Guy is a literal giant. But then I remembered that this is Atheon we're talking about. That was the most boring, cliche thing I have ever seen. And he stole my robot. I can't even have that back. That's it. This is officially the worst day to ever happen to anyone. That's a bit extreme. And not even the good kind of worst. By the way, that name you mentioned, what was it, Dr. Outrageous? That is his name, yes. Huh. Odd name. Oh, you can talk, Mr. Affion Blightfinder. Seems like kind of a bad guy. Might have to watch what he does in the future. Oh, yes. He is completely a bad guy. The worst. That's what I thought. I'll keep that in mind, then. Wow. That's a harsh betrayal. Hey, you all right? All right? Me? No, I am not all right. I am outrageous! This is exactly what I wanted! But the robot betrayed you. No, he didn't! The robot is aiding me! Think about it. At any given time, it could have given away that I see everything it sees. It never did! Hell, it didn't even mention that we can talk back and forth. On top of that, it's working inside Blightland's government facility. We have a man on the inside! Oh, yeah. Then this is a good thing, then. It's bad! What? Which is good! Oh. But the best part, the best part, Atheon himself referred to me as a threat! If the king himself perceives me as a threat, then there is hope. Hope, yes, hope, that I will be known throughout the land as the mostest, greatest evil. Enjoy this moment of respite, King Atheon, for from now on you will be plagued by none other than I, Dr. Outrageous! Mwahahaha! <laughs>